What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video, we're checking out a brand new 360 degree camera. This camera can record in 8K, it can also take 72 megapixel pictures and it can also live stream in 4K. So this camera is called the Pano X V2. Now, unlike a regular action camera, this basically records all around itself. That's why it's called a 360 degree camera. So you can first record and then you can reframe those videos however you want. So you don't have to hold the camera like this at all times. You can actually hold it like this. You can hold it like this. And the camera just records all around itself. And then when you're done recording, you can actually reframe those shots. So just to give you an example, this is a video that we filmed over the weekend. So we're using the invisible stick to film this video, of course. Um, so it almost looks like you have another person filming you or a drone filming you or something like that because the camera is basically floating in the air. But in reality, it's not. Um, it actually has that stick that um, Laura was um, holding. So the beauty of that recording is the fact that you can have the camera recording you or you can have the camera recording in front of itself or something like that. Something that you're not going to be able to get from a regular action camera like a GoPro, just to give you an example, because the GoPro will just record in front of itself. So you would never be able to get a video like that from a GoPro. The same kind of goes with the pictures that you're going to take with this camera because this camera takes pictures all around it. So 360 degree pictures, also 72 megapixel pictures, so massive, massive pictures. So a regular camera will just take a picture in front of itself, but this camera takes a picture all around it. So from one picture that you're going to take with this camera, you can basically make unlimited pictures. So you can have a picture of you because you're somewhere in that um, range. You can have a picture on the right of you. You can have a picture on the left of you and so on. So unlimited pictures that you can actually get from one picture that you take um, with this camera right here. So very different than your regular action camera. It basically gives you unlimited possibilities how you see videos and um, pictures. All right, let's um, take a quick look and see what comes in the box with this. And then we'll also take a quick look at the camera itself. All right, so the camera comes in this box right here, a good looking box. Inside the box, you're obviously going to find the camera. We also have this carrying pouch for the camera. This will basically protect the camera from getting scratched, the screen from getting scratched, those lenses from getting scratched. So definitely nice to have this um, carrying pouch because this way you can keep this camera protected whenever you have it in your backpack and stuff like that. And there is also a hole here so you can actually charge the camera while it's in this um, little pouch here. Aside from that, you're also going to find the user manuals. However, the camera is extremely easy to use and you're also going to find the charging cable for the camera. So charging this from 0 to 100 takes about two hours, depending on the charge that, that um, you're going to use. Of course, I believe that this supports 18 watt um, fast charging. Taking a quick look at the camera itself, well, the camera looks somewhat similar to other 360 degree cameras available on the market. So, of course, we have one lens on one side and another lens on the other side. That's how the camera is able to capture those 360 degree videos. Now, on the left hand side here, we have the slot for the SD card. So the camera can take SD cards up to one terabyte. Personally, I've only tried a 64 gig SD card. That's the largest that I have. Then we have a USB-C port here, so you can charge the camera through that port, but you can also attach an external microphone. I've actually tried the DJI microphone with it and it does work fine but you'll have to see how you position that microphone because the camera kind of records them all around itself. So you may be able to see that microphone in those recordings. So keep that in mind. Also wanted to quickly show you how this camera would capture sound. So I'm currently outdoors as you can see for yourself and I'm about a meter away from the camera. It is super quiet around here. There is literally no sound aside from my voice. There is no wind either. So this is how the internal microphone in this camera would capture sound under these conditions. So outdoors in a very quiet environment. On the other side of the camera, we have a button here and that's pretty much it for the buttons on the camera. At the bottom here, we have a quarter inch screw hole. So this way you can attach that invisible stick or you can mount this on a tripod or anything like that that has that um, quarter inch screw. Moving on to the other side of the camera here, we have a three inch screen. This is also a touch screen. So of course you can start recordings, you can stop recordings, you can change camera modes from here. You can take videos, you can take pictures, you can start live streams and so on. And the brightness on this screen is 500 nits. And yes, you can see the screen even um, 
sun on a super bright day outdoors. So um, this is actually a recording that I've done the other day outdoors, just so you can see how you'd be able to see that screen um, on a sunny day. So yes, you can definitely see that screen really well. Another important part for this camera system is the app that works with the camera. So you can find the app free of charge for Android and iOS. So basically any phone that you have, you're going to be able to use that app for free. Personally, I've been using the app on my iPhone 15 Pro. Now, the app is not only important so you can change video modes, so you can change picture modes and you can change settings on the camera, but the app is very important so you can actually edit those videos whenever you are done capturing something. So after you're done filming a video, just to give you an example, you can have the video in a 16 by 9 format, in a 9 by 16 format or a 1 by 1 format. So it depends what you plan on using that particular video. So for example, you can use um, videos for Instagram or TikTok or you can do videos for YouTube. So it really depends what um, you're doing. And of course, you can see exactly what you want in those recordings. So you can have the camera spinning left, right, it can be pointing towards you. So pretty much unlimited possibilities of what you can do once you've recorded one of those um, 360 degree videos. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the camera can record in 8K. However, at that 8K resolution, we only get 10 frames per second. Your best bet for um, filming 360 degree videos is 5.7K at 30 frames per second. I basically record at that resolution. And then whenever I export the videos, I export them in 4K at 30 frames per second. And I feel that this is the best way to use um, this camera. However, if you want, you can export those videos in a 1080p resolution. It is entirely up to you. Everything is customizable from the app here. There is also a very cool smart tracking mode where the camera will basically keep track of you. So it doesn't matter if you move the camera this way, if you move the camera that way, the camera will keep track of you at all times. And again, this is a quick recording that I've done the other day, just so you can see how that smart tracking mode works like. I also want to show you how the smart tracking feature works. So once again, I'm doing the same 5.7K at 30 frames per second resolution. So with this smart tracking feature, it seems that the camera will always focus on me no matter where I point the camera. So let's point the camera this way. So the camera will basically just rotate and I'll be in the center at all times. Personally, I love 360 degree cameras because the footage that you're going to be able to get from one of these cameras is something that you're not going to be able to capture with any other camera. So if you're driving, for example, you're driving on a super cool road, you can have the camera outside of the car and you can film the car like you have a drone if you're riding a motorcycle, if you're riding a bicycle. So the footage that you're going to get from one of these cameras is unmatched by a regular action camera, I'm going to say. Now, of course, you don't want to hold that selfie stick when you're driving, so you have to mount the camera somewhere or you have um, to have like a second person to hold that um, stick and so on. So always be safe whenever using one of these cameras. Of course, safety is number one. You don't want to get yourself into a car accident or something like that because you're filming footage with a camera. But the uniqueness of that um, footage that you're going to get is unmatched by any, any action camera out there. And all the footage that um, I've been showing you was basically filmed with this camera over the past um, week. So very, very cool, crisp footage that um, you're going to be able to get from this camera. Now, of course, this camera also has a lot more features than what I just mentioned in this video. For example, you can do 360 degree time lapses if you're into that. So, for example, if you go fishing or, or something like that, you can have some very cool um, time lapses as well. Personally, I'm not into time lapses as much, so I didn't go into those um, as much. And there are a lot of video and photo modes that you can choose from, of course. But I don't want to make this video an hour long. So I just showed you the features that I personally was interested in. As always, um, there will be some links in the video's description so you can check um, this camera out. Alright guys, if you do have any questions, leave some um, comments down below and I'll try to answer um, whatever comments and questions um, you may have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.